90 minutes. And in this video, we will do a quick lesson of Chapter 5, which will cover electron configuration, rules of electron configuration, orbital notation, noble gas configuration, cations, anions, atomic radius, ionization energy, and electronegativity. So let's start this video. To start off, I will talk about electron configuration. Electron configuration is the arrangement of electrons in an atom. There are four sublevels which these electrons go into. These are S, D, D, and F. The S sublevel has one orbital, while P has three, D has five, and F has seven. These orbitals are represented by the vertical line. Each orbital can only have two electrons. Sublevel S has two electrons. Sublevel P has six. Sublevel D has ten. And sublevel F have fourteen. These electrons are represented by the up and down arrows. Groups 1 and 2 and elements helium and hydrogen only go up to the sublevel S. Groups 3 through 12 only go up to sublevel D. Groups 13 through 18, excluding helium, only go up to sublevel P. The lanthanides and actinides only go up to sublevel F. Electrons have to fill up in a certain order. First, they have to move through sublevel 1s, then sublevel 2s, then sublevels 2p, then 3s. Then they have to go through 3p and 4s, then 3d, 4p, and 5s. 4D, 5P, and 6S. Then 4F, 5D, 6P, and 7S. And then the last one is 5F, 6D, and 7P. We will now move on to orbital notation and noble gas configuration. But before we go into an orbital notation, we must know two rules that most apply to orbital notation. Hunt's rule states you must place one electron in each orbital before you place a second electron in any orbital of the same sublevel. The Offa principle states that an electron must fill the orbital of the lowest energy level first. Let's start off with nitrogen first, which has so many electrons. Because we have to fill up the lowest energy level first, we have to go to energy level 1, sublevel S, then 2S, then 2P. Because of Aufbau's principle, we fill up the lowest energy level with the first electron. Then we go to 2s, first orbital of p, second orbital, and third orbital. Then because of Hund's rule, we put the second electron in. But with nitrogen, we only put two in and not any other not any other three orbitals because we would already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons already. Now, for the noble gas configuration of nitrogen, it would look like this. It would be helium between brackets, 2s for second energy level of sublevel s, a 2, a 2p standing for the second energy level of sublevel p, and then a 3. Next one we'll do is magnesium which has 12 electrons. Magnesium fills up to the third energy level for S. First energy level for S. Second energy level for S. And then the second energy level for P. S and P standing for the sublevels. Because of Aufbau's principle, we have to fill up the lowest energy level with the first electron. And then also because of Hunt's rule, we have, we have to put in one electron in each orbital. Also 
because of Hun's rule, we could now we can now put in the second electron. Now in this instance, we can we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There are two electrons in each orbital in this instance. The noble gas configuration for magnesium would be neon between brackets, F, energy level of 3, and S, and a 2. Alright, now we will briefly talk about cations and anions. Cations are positive. Alright, now we will briefly talk about cations and anions. Cations are positively charged ions as seen on sodium and aluminum, which are represented as the plus signs. Anions are negatively charged ions, which are represented in oxygen, fluorine, and nitrogen by the negative sign.